Leonard Susskind's fascination with black holes began 30 years ago when he listened to a talk by Stephen Hawking, a talk that triggered a violent reaction. I first heard Stephen Hawking give a lecture up in San Francisco in which he made this extraordinary claim that black holes seem to violate the very, very fundamental principle of physics called conservation of information. Seven years after his groundbreaking work on black hole radiation, Hawking had taken the idea to its logical conclusion. For every ounce of material a black hole absorbed into its core, it would radiate away an equivalent amount of energy from its event horizon. But since there is no physical link between the center of a black hole and its event horizon, the two processes could not share any information. Now this was a disaster from the point of view of the basic principles of physics. The basic principles of physics say that you can't lose information. Let me give you an example. Here's a sink of water. We imagine sending in a message into that sink of water in the form of Morse code by dropping in this red ink. Drip, 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 drop, drip. You see the red ink swirling around. But if you wait a few hours, what will happen is that red ink will get diffused throughout the water. You might say, well, my goodness, the information is clearly lost. Nobody can reconstruct it now. But down at the very core of physical principles, no, that information is there. If you could watch every single molecule, you could reconstruct that message. It may be much too hard for human beings to be able to reconstruct and to follow all those motions, but physics says it's there. I began to think, hey, wait a minute, this sounds awfully much like a hologram. There's Alice at the center, and if I look at the, let me not call it the horizon, let me just call it the surface, the film, all you see is a completely scrambled mess, and somehow they're representing exactly the same thing. Leonard's idea that the event horizon of a black hole is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional object at its center solves the problem of information loss. Every object that falls into a black hole leaves its mark both at the central mass and on the shimmering hologram at the event horizon. When the black hole emits Hawking radiation from the horizon, that radiation is connected to the stuff that fell in. Information is not lost. In 2004, at a scientific conference in Dublin, Hawking conceded defeat. Black holes do not destroy information. Leonard Susskind had won the black hole war. But he'd done much more than that, because the theory does not merely apply to black holes. It forces us to picture all of reality in a new way. It's as if there were two versions of the description of you and me and what's in this room. One of them being the normal perceived uh, three-dimensional reality and the other being a kind of holographic image on the walls of the room, completely scrambled but still with the same exact information in it. That idea has now, it's not an idea anymore, it's a really basic principle of physics that information is stored on a kind of holographic film at the edges of the universe. In a sense, three-dimensional space is just one version of reality. The other version exists on a flat holographic film billions of light years away at the edge of the cosmos. Why these two realities seem to coexist is now the biggest puzzle physics needs to solve.